Okay, so which of these chocolate milks are the best between Wawa, Rudders, and Turkey Hill? Get to the chocolate! Turkey Hill in Lampeter, PA. As you can tell from the insignia, it's Kroger affiliated. I think Turkey Hill probably existed a while back and Kroger snapped them up. I'll have to do some research on that, but they do have their own chocolate milk, both in whole and low fat. And they had ultra pasteurized chocolate milk in a carton, but there was two left in the case and the date on it was October 27th. Today I think is the 3rd of November. That's, that's last week. I guess we'll find another one of those. Usually I don't get too worked up about the dates thing, but um, that's far enough in the past that I don't want to push it and give it a, oh a, an unnecessarily awesome. bad review. If it's nasty, I definitely had my share of nasty sour milk over the last couple of years. That's so bad, that's so bad. It tastes like salad dressing. Okay, at the Rudders, picked up some chocolate milk. They got low fat and whole. Pretty excited to try it. I knew about this one for a while. And this is another one of those gas station type of deals like Turkey Hill and uh, Wawa, which will be the next one that we hit up. I just arrived at Wawa, which is the furthest west in Pennsylvania that there exists a Wawa. Wawa kind of holds a special place in my heart a little bit. It was my mom's favorite place uh, to go, particularly for coffee. She loved the uh, the English English toffee flavored coffee. So to her, that was that was her chocolate milk. Uh, so I'm gonna have to pick some uh, some of that up just in remembrance. But um, their chocolate milk does get a lot of attention online. I don't necessarily put too much stock in that as though you know as it's very much in vogue to tout bold opinions especially unsubstantiated ones in this age of twitter and whatnot oh wow was the best and, you know and I, I get it you know if you could say oh, the, oh that movie was the best it maybe doesn't mean you've looked at all movies and you think that that one is the most superior but that it's just a way of saying i really like that i get it We'll snap up some Wawa chocolate milk and maybe an English toffee and see how it compares. It's the only double Dutch one they have left and it's mangled. Okay, so kind of struck out there. They had a ton of 1% chocolate milk, which yeah, I picked one up because I got to review it, but that's not really what I'm after. They had one double Dutch in a pint and it was mangled and it's mangled. 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 It was mangled. And leaking and sticky. So, I'm going to have to head over to the next closest. I guess the one in Ephrata is remodeling, so now I got to go down on the other side of Lancaster on Lincoln Highway. Also, they didn't have any English toffee flavored coffee. Uh, maybe that's not popular anymore, but uh, so I'm kind of struck out on both the cords there. But for the most part, OKC has been able to stay in front of them. Wow. Man, that was, <laughs> that was a brick. <laughs> Holy that was. cow. You gotta be shitting me, Wawa. Nothing here either. It's all sold out. Similar disappointment to when we were in Florida, in Fort Lauderdale, and I saw Wawa, and oh, let's go. And they didn't have any Wawa branded chocolate milk. I think it was Borden or something down there, so. Uh, to see where the next closest one's at. Press on. Uh, I've already driven halfway to Philadelphia, which is complete wrong direction that I want to be going, but I'm starting to get the impression that maybe they deliver early in the week or something like that, and by Saturday, they're. They're uh, sold out of it everywhere. So I will be coming back through East, but I wanted to pick it up today so I can do a comparison between Wawa, Turkey Hill, and Rudders. All right, we'll see what they got. Oh my God, that's awesome. It's not looking good. <coughs> well, and I guess this is Black Horse, Pennsylvania. If they don't have it here, I'm gonna have to punt and get back to Harrisburg and, and live to fight another day. Oh my God. 
There it is. The oddly elusive Wawa Double Dutch Chocolate Milk. They had three of them left. I bought two just because I want to leave one for, I guess, that other person who's looking for this stuff, going to four different Wawa's and finally finding it. Okay, so which of these low-fat chocolate milks are the best? Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it might be. It's, it's pretty clear cut, actually. The Wawa is by far the best of these three. It's got the strongest cocoa flavor to anything else ratio, and even though it's fairly muted, the Turkey Hill is just way too sweet. Yeah, you get a, kind of a syrupy, sugary rush, and it kind of masks the flavor and, and really candies it up, which I think does it a disservice. And lastly is the Rudders. I don't even know what this flavor is. It's got a really nice, thinly, thin, smooth texture, but there's a really strange, I don't know if it's a vanilla flavor. It's not cinnamon, but it's, it's not chocolate. It's a really kind of a strange flavor if you're expecting chocolate. This doesn't taste like chocolate, so. Uh, yeah, clear winner, Wawa on the low-fat side. Let's try the whole stuff. These are all full fat, uh, whole milk versions, so they're gonna be a step above the low fat. So these, this will tell you which one really has the best chocolate milk. I wasn't expecting it to follow the same uh, pattern as the low fat. From a brand perspective, it's still Wawa, Turkey Hill, and Rudders in this regard as well, although the differences are a little bit less severe. And so it's a little bit tighter of a race. And Wawa is it's really unique. It's got a super strong chocolate flavor. One of the strongest I've had, for sure. It really delivers on the double Dutch aspect. It's got, it's so strongly chocolatey that it's got almost like a sour note too. It feels mature and it feels indulgent. You'll notice that, that color-wise, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a, as brown as it, as it can be and it's several standard deviations darker than average. Uh, Interesting note though, on here it says December 16th, um, which is like a month and a half in the future. So I don't know if that stuff lasts as long on the shelves. It was sure hard to find on the shelf today. Second would be Turkey Hill, and this is still good. It's it's not nearly as sweet and cloying as the low fat version. Yeah, it's got a really nice chocolate flavor. It's very tasty. It just doesn't quite have the punch. I mean, Wawa more, more is, it's hard to sit on my knees like this, god damn. Uh, Wawa is getting the, the call more for the uniqueness of it and it is nicely thin and creamy. Turkey Hill's got a very good chocolate flavor. It's, it is prominent and everything else is well balanced. The sweetness is not out of control. The salt is right there and the cream is good. Rudders, again, this doesn't have the funky flavor that the low fat did. I have no idea what that was. And from a texture standpoint, it's really super smooth and uh, goes down easy. Yeah, smooth as silk, subtle flavor. It's just the, the most bland of the three. These two are very overtly chocolatey and Wawa being astronomically chocolatey uh, really propels it in the first place. So, Wawa's the best. Turkey Hill, relatively close second. Rudders, eh, distant enough third. So, that's what it is. Get to the chopper! All right, Turkey Hill in Lampeter. Oh, fuck. Just dropped the shit. Okay, at the rudders. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. Rudders like a boat rudder. Yeah, on first taste, this is nice and it's unique. Uniquely strong flavor. And uh, I like that. It's good for, especially for a, what you consider a gas station or convenience store brand. They really kind of set themselves apart.